What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, hanging out with you guys today. I got a good, interesting video coming out today. Lots of things happening this weekend, and I'm gonna provide you guys a good video. But I need you guys to watch the whole video because I might have a little surprise for you at the end. But as you can see, I've done a lot of fragging. I've cut up a lot of Zoas, but this still doesn't stop me because I ended up placing an order, another order of some more Zoas from these guys called My Reef to Yours. I'm gonna show you all the Zoas that I picked up and I picked up about eight Zoas, spent a little bit of money Two of the Pali Zoas that I got were $50 each. That's pretty damn expensive, so I can't wait to show you this fire. This is not my first time ordering. This is not my second time. Probably won't be the last time. I ordered from Jared from My Reef to Yours a couple of times, and uh, he always has a good selection of Zoas, not overpriced and just right for me. But this tank is gonna be some fire once I get it set up. Just give me some time to work my magic and this tank will be fully loaded, which is why I thank you guys for subscribing. Um, I just don't do product reviews. I do mix it up in my, my YouTube, but uh, I reef guys, I reef. And that's why I like doing these videos for you guys because it allows me a chance to talk to all the other crazy reefers out there that do it big or small but have reefing in their life and that's what this youtube channel is about i'm going to give you guys an update product review on the innovative marine grid system but we're not going to do that in this video just wanted to show you what i picked up this weekend also i got some antheas i picked up these antheas i had some uh, gold antheas in my last tank which was a 180 these ones are beautiful. I picked them up from my local fish store, special ordered just for me. And uh, I ordered three of them. My buddy Alan came through, ordered them for me. And uh, I ended up using the store credit when I took all the anemones, uh, the last video. And I used that and applied it for the new purchase of some fish. Now, I don't recommend that you guys do what I do. I'll just show you what I do. As you can see, I didn't quarantine. Um, I am feeding some uh, rods food, all the fish like it, and I'm feeding just to get these guys to eat and maybe take out some uh, aggression and see how these guys do. Immediately before feeding, the antheas were swimming up front. Uh, they did get, one of them did get bit by a starry eye blinny, and uh, which kind of worried about me, worried me, but um, they all seem to be doing good. They're schooling together and uh, really happy about this because these fish add a splash of color um, the corals are really what it's all about but you know the fish give it some movement and to tell you the truth the fish is what brought me into salt water and then i graduated from the fish over to the corals my tank isn't really fully stocked yet um and i don't have a plan on like overdoing it with fish uh, because more fish, more nitrates, all that good stuff. You do need fish, but I don't want to do it too much with the big fish. So I'm going to stick with the hippo tang and the purple tang. Uh, I have one clownfish, one star-eyed blenny, uh, the new addition of the three antheas, um, some fish that I got from Petco that's doing good, hasn't died and is a beast. Um, as you know before, in the past video, I had like three tangs, and I killed them all on accident by being dumb. So, so lesson learned, don't be dumb like me and just keep reefing. Uh, if you just get into the saltwater hobby, if you just came on my video by accident, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I definitely do reef. We do do the uh, product reviews and I try to push out a video once a week. Now with that, I want you guys to share this video give me some topics that i talked about in this video you have to watch the whole thing and that's going to allow you to enter this contest all you have to do is watch the whole video comment down below because i'm going to be saying secret phrases things like that that i know of and you have to email me 
you have to separately email me at 915mang, M-A-N-G, at gmail.com and give me that specific uh, secret passcode. So anyways, I have a little bit of cyano in this tank. And uh, the reason why is because my algae turf scrubber uh, kind of went offline. It got some chatel stuck in the, the pump and the impeller and the uh, turf kind of dried out. I caught it this weekend when I was cleaning it out because I do have to, you know, harvest it. Otherwise, uh, it's not effective. And as you can see, since it wasn't working, I got a little bit of cyano and that uh, turf scrubber is pretty legit. Now, there's going to be a total of three passcodes that you have to give me in that email. The first one is Apple French fries. Now, with that, the uh, since the algae turf scrubber wasn't really working, I got a little bit of phosphates growing. As you can see on the glass, it's a little bit dirty. That's how I measure my phosphates. You know, I've done uh, phosphate test kits, and usually they really don't register or show up. Um, I do check out my tank on the daily and uh, I just clean it with the uh, flipper. Let's go ahead and do a side view now of the tank. Uh, this is the next day in the morning, checking up on all my antheas, doing a roll call. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside of the tank. Now, as we look at the side view, I want to know how many of you guys went to Aquashella there in Dallas. I know there's some more shows coming up called Rap and uh, Orlando, Los Angeles going to be coming up, New York. Maybe one day I can go ahead and make it out there, check it, check it out, kick it with some of you dudes and gals who are heavily into reefing. Um, I've been watching my channel for a while and are at the shows. That'd be sweet to just hang out with you dudes and gals and just kick it and talk fish and coral. Now, if you've been watching the whole video, the second passcode is barbecued smoke brisket. Please remember you have to comment down below and you have to give me the passcodes via email. Do not comment the passcodes because you'll just be making it unfair for you guys. Now, everything else is doing pretty good and these anemones are still doing good. I kept two anemones, I had a total of eight anemones. Gave the rest to my local fish store and uh, I used that credit on those antheas like I mentioned and they're doing good. I have one right here. It was stretched out. The leather is kind of staying away from it so I thought that might be an issue. The problem is that an enemy was grabbed onto the leather's rock and uh, but it's doing good and I have one more like in the back of the tank also doing good and let me go ahead and show it to you. The other clownfish is hanging out there maybe you can see it and it's everything is doing pretty good guys um, do I recommend anemones for everybody no I don't do I recommend uh, that you guys just buy a tank and throw one in no I did do a video called anemone care if you get a chance you want to share that video just share it and text it to your buddy or email it now I did make you guys kind of work for this prize what is the prize well it's going to be a $50 gift certificate to Marine Depot and you guys can use that money for whatever you want aquarium related um, now the reason I'm doing a gift certificate is because there's too many times where I've seen on Instagram where people win these prizes and then I see them on the forum selling that setup uh, that they just won and uh, I don't want to do that. So I'd rather get you something that you can use that you want and uh, we'll do that. What's the third pass fries? I love SPS, but I love Zoas more. Now talking about SPS, I do want to get another order. I'm kind of um, looking at quite a bit of SPS. I'm talking like high end. Nice SPS since I haven't been an SPS killer here lately. I've been an LPS killer lately. I don't know why. But the SPS have been doing okay on my tank. Um, I did get another fish. Uh, and I had been wanting this fish for a while. I don't know if you saw in the bucket when I was doing it. And I introduced them to my 25-gallon Innovative Marine Lagoon. But the poor Golden Midas ended up 
being a jumper, he thought he was finding Nemo. And the damn guy jumped out of my tank. Uh, I didn't think he would. I, I knew that maybe it was possible, but it was already too late. Um, I had did a roll call today, this morning, made sure he was okay, but I guess I must have left and didn't hear him, and he ended up jumping out. Remember, guys, don't leave out the past phrases. Share this video, comment, and uh, subscribe.